while we could talk. I fed up a liver like this. I fed up a smelling like this. We have to do something now. Boy, we don't have the money. But he have it. Delivery's going to be chef. It's me. What money you think I have? Hey, you all right? That man lied to me my whole life. Those are his dreams. You are the dream. That is a piece of the trailer there for Doubles, a film uh, that's premiering in Movie Town next week, and you get the opportunity to be a part of it this morning. I want to welcome to the show to have a conversation about Doubles, Denise Dionarine, the general manager at Film Co., and Sanjeev Budu, lead actor in the film. Good morning and welcome Good to the show. Good morning. Good morning, Rokas. How are we doing this morning? Fantastic. Very well, very well. Happy to be here. Yeah. Now, I love the, well, you, you mentioned it when we were off air just now, the line, you are the dream. Yes. And this movie seems like a dream that come, came through because I remember when Doubles was just a short and now we have a full feature film. How does that make you feel, Sanjeev? First of all, I feel grateful. Doubles with Slide Pepper, the short, yeah. was filmed in 2011. Wow. Doubles was filmed in 2021. Wow. Ten years after. So I am grateful to Ian Harnarain, the director, mm -hmm. for even giving me the part because I obviously have aged <laughs> 10 years. Um, in addition to that, he's had the opportunity to, to get any actor he wanted in Canada. Yeah. This movie, as you know, was filmed and produced um, largely in Canada. There were scenes that were filmed in Trinidad, mm. very, very fortunately. Um, so yeah, grateful is, is how I feel. I'm, I'm tell, very me, tell me excited. a little bit about the experience that you had doing the film. Sure. Um, first of all, it was my first film experience. Mm. I had never been uh, in a feature film before. I, of course, did Doubles with Slide Pepper, right. which was my first short film. Um, I also had a very small part in um, a short film by the name of um, Moving Parts by Emily Upshaw. Yeah, yeah. um, so that was a, a novel experience for me. Um, I spent a month in Canada filming this movie. Mm -hmm. It was my first time in Canada. It was also my first time experiencing winter. So there were a number of firsts for yeah. me. Yeah, first time you ever feel so cold in your life. Indeed. <laughs> um, but moreover, I felt an immense sense of patriotism yeah. to be part of a film that was filmed and produced in Canada, to have the lead role, and a very um, strong sense of pride to be alongside Errol Sitahal, our mm. veteran Trinidadian actor. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Um, did you tell me a little bit about Filmco's role when it comes to, to doubles? Absolutely. So I think Filmco has had the, the honor of premiering doubles at the opening night of the Toronto and Tobago Film Festival mm -hmm. last year. So patrons that attended that opening night were able to see doubles for the first time in Toronto and Tobago. And we are absolutely elated to be able to work with Ian Han Ryan, Sanjeev and their team and to have the patronage of NGC, who is our title sponsor, uh, as well as partners like Movie Town and the Hilton Hotel, to be able to premiere this film in cinemas in Movie Town in Port of Spain, San Fernando, and Guyana, all simultaneously. Nice. Yes, from um, July the 18th to, to July the, the 31st. It's fantastic because, you know, I think oftentimes as we go to the cinema, we see options that are available, but most of those options, if not all of those options, are not local, not Caribbean movies. So this is definitely a continued step in the right direction uh, because we get it every now and then, and we get it especially for the film festival. But to have it just randomly in the middle of the De Java vacation, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, Sanjeev, give me a little synopsis of the movie for those people who may not have seen Doubles with Slide Pepper and they may not have seen the premiere during the film festival. Tell us, give us a synopsis of the movie itself. If I had to describe it in one word, it is relatable. <laughs> yeah. And what I mean by that is anybody who sees this film can relate to some aspect, if not all of it. It is the story of migration, which is a true West Indian story. Mm -hmm. It has happened all throughout the West Indies, where one parent has emigrated in search of a better life. 
And in so doing, they've left behind members of their family. Um, that has caused a great amount of separation within the West Indies. Um, and this film explores the feelings of those who've been left behind, whether it is abandonment, whether it is um, self-doubt, whether it is a loss of identity. Mm. The film experiences, or, or examines rather, that child who's been left behind that goes to Canada in search of his lost father and the development of their relationship anew. Mm -hmm. um, and the character Danny that I play goes through a lot of emotions as to now learning about his father again, but for the first time yeah. as an adult. Because he would have just heard stories as a child. Precisely. Yeah. And his memories were when he was a child. Right. So imagine meeting your father for the second time, but for the first time. Yeah. That is the, the essence of the, of the film. And that's why I say it's relatable. Everyone can relate it. Uh, Denise, tell me, why was it so important for Filmco to get behind this movie? What about this, this plot that made you say, yeah, this is something that we want to support? Well, we are actually are going to be working with the film company, the Trans Tobago Film Company, mm -hmm. Film, um, film TT, who, as you know, um, is a, a key entity in shaping the, the film industry. And we wanted to collaborate with them and, of course, our sponsors and our partners um, because it is such a compelling story. And I think more than anything, it's also very important for, for us as citizens of the Caribbean to have stories about topics that matter to us, that we can identify with, that we see people that sound and, and look like us, and sort of maybe give us permission to, to feel the way that we do um, and not to repress those things. And I mean, what I just love is all of the different notes and tenors of emotion that are in this film. Uh, it's absolutely relatable. And I just obviously, of course, love the resilience aspect that's there because our identity as, as, as a Caribbean is also really um, based on we are people of resilience. So <laughs> it's something else. Yes. <laughs> so we're just so happy to, to be able to, to collaborate with Film TT. Um, to be able to, and our, and our partners, NGC, to be able to, to have this film shown to audiences. Can we look forward to more of these collaborations and more endorsements of local film to be able to put them in, in the cinemas for us to be able to have access to? I do hope so. I mean, there are some preliminary conversations that have been um, exchanged in relation to how can we uh, make this happen. There are a lot of key stakeholders, I think, that are very interested. And we were very happy to be able to, to launch that with this. Tell um, me, Dennis, what are some of the challenges that make it happen? Because, I mean, we always hear people saying that we want more local films. Yeah. We, we see it every year in the film festival. We see a lot of people doing the work. Uh, but what are the challenges from getting it from those great ideas and sometimes great shorts to feature films and to getting it in the cinema? So I think the biggest challenge that any filmmaker is going to face is financing, mm -hmm. uh, and particularly an independent filmmaker, because their distribution and financing model is very different to, let's say, a, a blockbuster. Mm -hmm. So this is somebody that is really using passion, dreams, and unlimited resources, but also, um, thankfully, technology to be able to, to allow them to, to produce their, their film. So, I mean, I suppose it's just managing that and mm -hmm. galvanizing the re requisite um, resources. But also, I think the other bit, to just be very frank, is, is distribution. Right. So thankfully, Netflix and, and, and those kind of online streaming platforms that happen in the pandemic has changed consumption. Mm -hmm. um, I think persons still, of course, treasure the cinema experience. I definitely do. Yes. Yeah, because nothing I've seen inside <laughs> the big screen properly and, and get in that opportunity to see yourself on the big screen and see people that look like you, that sound like you on the big screen. Absolutely. So we definitely give thanks for that. Yeah. Um, just remind us when we can start seeing it in Movie Town. So we can see uh, doubles in Movie Town, Port of Spain, San Fernando. And Guyana. And Guyana. <laughs> yes, on July the 18th right. to the 31st, dates inclusive. Okay. So we encourage. So from everyone. the 18th to the 31st, we can head on down to Movie Town and get a chance to be a part of the experience that is doubles. Let me say thank you, Denise and Sanji, for joining us this morning, and congratulations because I think this is definitely a step in the right direction. Thank you. Thank you very much for having us. We're Not very, a problem. Very happy to be here. All right, guys, we take a quick break and we come back with more on the Now Morning Show. Stick around. I like it. Watching you from the side. You're making me feel so wild.